Hi there, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about a new PowerShell module that I wrote called PS Flexpool. And this module allows you to grab information from your Flexpool dashboard easily from PowerShell. And then you can incorporate that into scripts and do whatever you like with it. Now this is made possible because Flexpool has an API that allows you to talk to basically their website and grab the information that you want. And they actually have good API documentation that I use to turn everything that you can do into a command or function in PowerShell. So for instance, if you wanted to grab your balance that you have on Flexpool, you can use this call right here that will give you your balance. So for instance, this basically grabs this value right here, the unpaid balance in both uh, Chia and in the dollar amount. Now before we move on, I would like to quickly say that you should be using their API responsibly and you shouldn't be sending a whole bunch of API calls to their server every second. Now they don't have a rate limit per second that you can call their API, but just be respectful and you know only call the minimal amount of information that you need so that you don't overload their server. Okay, so in order to start using the PowerShell module that I created that makes calling this API very easy, you're gonna to need to install PS Flexpool. Now I did put this on the PowerShell gallery. So all you need to do is open up PowerShell as administrator. So go ahead and click run as admin. And then after you have this window open, all you're gonna type out is install module, do a dash repository to specify the PS gallery and then do name PS Flexpool. Now, if you come up with any prompts that say uh, the PS gallery is an untrusted gallery, you can just click Y and hit enter. Or if you need to update your NuGet, you can also do that as well. Now, I already have the PS Flexpool installed, which is why I get this little warning. Now, I can update it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I went ahead and updated the module to the newest version. And before we move on, a lot of people ask me, how do you get to the PS GitHub? Now, this is something that you don't need to worry about. This is actually just a drive that's mapped to a file location on my computer. So if I do git ps drive, and then I do name GitHub, you can see that it just is a file directory called z uh, colon GitHub. And this is just where I keep all my modules and my scripts that I work on. So you can just ignore this. I have a lot of people asking about that in the comments. Okay, so now that we have this installed, let's go ahead and close our admin window because we don't need to be running as admin to use this module and open up a normal PowerShell window. Now before we get started, let's go ahead and see all the functions in this module so that we know what commands are available to us. So if we do git command and then do dash uh, module, and we type out PS Flexpool, it will get all the commands that are in this module. And you can see that there's quite a bit. Now some of these functions will need your payout address so that it grabs the correct information from Flexpool. So for instance, get FP minor payment, it will need your payout address so it grabs your payout information. Now some of these don't require that. For instance, get FP average luck will just get the pool's average luck. Now by uh, default, it will grab both Chia and Eth Ethereum and here you can see the average luck is about one, which is what we would expect. Now more than likely, you want to get information about your particular miner on the pool. And most of these commands will start with uh, FP miner uh, that will actually target your particular miner. So let's go ahead and just get overall stats by calling the get FP miner stats. So I'm just going to copy this command right here. Now you will have to specify that this is a Chia payout address and then you're going to give the address with the dash address parameter. So let me go ahead and copy mine and then paste it into PowerShell. Now if I click enter, you can see that it gives me some basic stats of my miner. Now this isn't in terabytes obviously, so you would have to convert that on your own. I might add on to this module where I make it a little bit more human readable, but as of right now, I do imagine this module will be used for scripting and it's better to leave things in the base unit whenever you are providing an interface for a, a API basically. Now it could be quite annoying to have to type out your payment address every time you want to call any of these type of functions in the module. So I did make it a little bit easier, easier in which you can save your payout address and then it'll automatically use this every time you call any of these functions. So let me go ahead and do set dash uh, FP minor address and then I'm going to just type out the address right here 
And then I'm going to run the same command that I did before, except I'm not going to include these two parameters right here. So I'm just going to type out git fp minor stats. And here you can see that it gets the stats for the address that I saved right here. Now anytime you actually set the FP minor address, it will overwrite any previous address that you had in there. So just keep that in mind. Now basically what this is doing is saving your address to a file. And this is the file location right here. So it's going to be C user, your username, app data, local, and then PS flex pool. And then it saves it to this file right here. And then whenever the module gets loaded, it will import this uh, address. And then it will set it to the default for any command that has uh, this as a parameter. So if we do ps default parameter values, you can see that this is exactly what it, it's doing. It's setting the coin ticker to Chia and it's setting the address to the one that you specified. Now there's probably more information that you actually need to know, but I figured I would just explain it anyways. Now what can you do with this module? Like wh what purpose does it serve? Because you know, Flexpool already has a pretty nice dash dashboard already. Why would you want to grab the raw information from this. Well, basically, you know, you can create your own little notification system. Now, Flexpool does have a pretty basic notification system for whenever one of your worker goes down or whenever a payout has been sent. But let's say that you want to grab uh, or get a notification every time that you mine a block, or maybe every time that a reward is sent out and you get a little bit added to your unpaid balance. Well, you could create a notification system using this module, and it makes it just a little bit easier since they're put into easy to read uh, functions rather than uh, using invoke rest method and then typing out the API call. Now, I have already started writing another module that basically creates this little notification system using these functions, and right now it sends notifications to Discord. And right here, you can see that it gives me a summary of my balance both in Chia and dollars, my average hash rate, you know, whether or not I have stale shares, and my status of my workers. Now there are other notifications, including if one of my workers are down, or if I have a percentage of stale shares that I specified. So if I want to be under 5% stale shares, I would get a notification when it goes above 5%. Now I have not released the module for the notification system quite yet because I want to do some more testing and maybe add some more features. But when I do release it, it will be called PSG a Watchdog and it will be available on the PowerShell gallery as well. Now I did want to add some more pools to this uh, module. However, that might have to wait because my initial plan was to add space pool, but they indicated that their API is not public and therefore it could change and also could be against terms of service. So I want to respect that and I'll wait till they make theirs public. Now I will say that the module doesn't have any really built in help to understand what the commands do, but they should be pretty self-explanatory on their name. So for instance, if you want to get the uh, block reward, this will be basically your reward for every block that the pool has found. So I have a click enter, you can see that it gives you your share of that block reward and this is the reward in Mojo, I think it's called. Now, this is can be a little bit hard to read in far as translating it to Chia. So I did write kind of a helper function to do that. So if you pipe this to convert from coin base unit, and this will also work for the Ethereum um, base unit as well, if you're using this module to call upon your Ethereum uh, address. And here you can see that it converts this unit right here into Chia. So these are the small little amount of Chia that I'm getting from the pool. Now ideally I would like this to be in a table instead of a list. But again, like I said, I do imagine that this module will be used mostly for scripting and not really to grab information from Flexpool because if you're in PowerShell then most likely you can just go to the dashboard anyways. I do hope that you enjoyed this video along with the PowerShell module that helps you talk to the Flexpool API. I would like to clearly state that Flexpool had no part in making this video or the PowerShell module and I did this in 100% on my own accord so that I could create a notification system personally for me and to share with the community. And I actually will probably switch back to Spacepool just because I enjoy the website and who knows I might switch back to Flexpool just depending on how things play out in the next few months. Alright, bye.